morning, my friends. Today is Sunday, April 10th. It is Palm Sunday, if you can believe that. It's day 83 of Be Formed. Of course, one week left in Be Formed. It's day 40 of our spiritual spring training or Lent. We'll have seven more days. Uh, of course, those 47 days includes the, the Sundays of Lent. And we are entering Holy Week. Just a couple of quick announcements. The Oberammergau pilgrimage is full. Thanks for those who responded. And uh, I'm going to be flying back home to Chicago this afternoon and then heading out Tuesday evening to Paris to begin the, the Camino on Holy Thursday. So if you could keep us in prayer, that'd be great. So what do we want to talk about today on Palm Sunday? Of course, in spring training, the closer the games get, you know, the more complex the drills are. And on, on this uh, Palm Sunday, I'd like to focus on our willingness to lay down our lives for others. So we have, what we're celebrating today is Jesus entering into Jerusalem on a donkey. You know, the people are waving palm branches because what, what used to happen is the king would enter Jerusalem after uh, a war victory and he would enter on a horse. And they would wave palm branches as a sign of honoring the victor. Jesus, of course, in his humility, comes in on a donkey. Um, seemingly, he's won nothing, but of course we know he's going to win the greatest victory of all. And the people, there's some people who recognize him and they're waving the palm branches, which we'll do at the Palm Sunday liturgy as a sign of this entrance of Jesus into Jerusalem. It's interesting that some people closed off uh, the gate where Jesus and the Messiah was supposed to return because they didn't want, you know, the, the return of the Messiah. So let's look at the readings in light of that, this willingness that God had in the person of his son Jesus to lay down his life for others. The entrance gospel today that we read at the beginning of Mass uh, describes Jesus entering in on that donkey. And then the first reading in the Liturgy of the Word is from Isaiah. And I love the line at the end of uh, the first reading. He says, and this is Isaiah the prophet, but you can imagine Jesus saying it. He says, he set his face like flint. Jesus set his face on Jerusalem. He was determined to do the Father's will. And he knew what was coming, but he willingly laid down his life for you and for me. He thought about us over 2,000 years ago as he did this. Psalm 22 is that familiar phrase, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some people will say that's Jesus saying, you know, um, you know, that the Father had abandoned him. But of course, at that time, most people knew the Psalms by heart. Jesus, of course, did. The Psalm begins by, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But it goes on to say, but I will praise God. So. Even though maybe in his humanness, Jesus felt this, you know, um, fear of what was about to happen, but he placed his ultimate trust in the Father and willingly laid down his life. Then in Philippians, in the second reading, uh, St. Paul says uh, that Jesus emptied himself, eventually being obedient to the point of death. He emptied himself, and in, in the Greek word is kenosis, he totally gave of himself so that you and I can have eternal life. And then finally, in, in the Gospel of Luke, uh, today we read the, the long version of the Passion. I'd encourage you to, to read this before going to Mass, maybe as a family, gather around and read the readings for today, and reflect upon what God has done for you and for me. Don't let this week pass by as just another week of the year. This is the holiest uh, of weeks in the Catholic Church. I want to encourage you, too, to put on your calendar the Holy Thursday Liturgy, Good Friday Liturgy, Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday. I want you to enter into this week as if it were brand new. Ask God for eyes and ears to hear things as if it were the first time. Because when we encounter this incredible love of God, who willingly took upon the weight of the sins of the world on his back, willingly went to the cross to die for us so that we can have new life, it, could, it can and should change our lives. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this holy week. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who 
willingly lay down his life for us. Help us to place our faith in him and for us to, to empty ourselves of our own desires, our wants, and to lay down our, our lives for others, for our family, our friends, and for those who are in need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.